Hi lovelies! So as some of you might know, I recently became a mom for the very first time. This is my lovely daughter Elle. She is now six weeks old. And what they don't tell you when you first give birth is how much time feeding a newborn actually takes. So much time, in fact, that feeding myself has become sort of secondary. So needless to say, I have had to find some solutions for make ahead snack ideas that I can sort of grab and go while I'm feeding this little tyke. So in the spirit of that, I've created a brand new no bake granola bar recipe that I am totally obsessed with right now. What I love about this recipe is that it is full of good for you ingredients, but can be made ahead of time and then enjoyed whenever you're having a snack attack, which for me right now, I'll be honest, is all the time. Now, once you've got the base recipe for this granola bar down, you can totally add any mix-ins you like. So it's also very versatile. There's a lot to love. Just before we get to these amazing granola bars, guys, I wanted to mention, in case you missed my announcement, that my brand new cookbook, The Domestic Geeks Meals Made Easy, is now available for pre-order. This beautiful book has been in the works for more than two years now, and I couldn't be more excited to share it with you guys. It will be on store shelves by April 23rd, but if you wanna pre-order your copy, obviously I'd love for you to do so. You can find all the links in the description box below. Now, without further ado, let's get to these game-changing granola bars. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. Now, the process for making these is sort of similar to making a traditional Rice Krispie square. So we're basically going to heat up our wet ingredients in the microwave, and once they're heated up, we'll add our dry ingredients to them. Now, I'm starting with some almond butter here. You could also use peanut butter if you wanted to, or if you wanna keep this nut free and school safe, you could go ahead and use some sunflower butter instead. All of them are great options. To that, I'm going to add some brown rice syrup. Now, in the past, I've used honey in my granola bar recipes, but I sometimes find that the granola bars have a hard time sticking together, and that's why I love brown rice syrup so much. It's syrupy and sweet, and most importantly, very, very sticky. Now, if you can't find it at your local supermarket, you can check your local health food store or find it online. That's usually the easiest way. I will link some in the description box below if you have trouble finding it where you are. To that, I'm also going to add just a tablespoon or two of coconut oil and finally a splash of vanilla extract. Once you've got all that goodness in your bowl, we're just going to pop this into the microwave for between 30 seconds and a minute. We just wanna make it a little smoother and a little easier to stir. If you don't have a microwave, not to worry, you can definitely do this on the stove top instead. Totally up to you. Stand by. After 45 seconds or so, what you get is something like this. We're just gonna give this a stir to get it combined. And once that mixture is combined, we can go ahead and add our dry ingredients. I'm starting with some oats here, which as we know, are a great source of heart healthy fiber. And then to make these extra delicious, I am also adding some crisp rice cereal. Now this is really the secret to these granola bars because it makes them nice and crispy in every bite, which I love. Now you may not be aware of this, but the traditional Rice Krispies that you buy at the supermarket are not actually gluten-free. So if gluten-free is important to you, you'll wanna swap in another brand that is. I'll leave whatever brand you wanna use, totally up to you, but I would definitely say don't skip the crisp rice cereal because it really makes these granola bars some of the best you'll ever have. Once this is mixed together, you can pretty much stir in any mix-ins you want. I like to use cashews, or if you wanna keep this school safe, you can go ahead and use some sunflower seeds instead. To that, I'm also going to add some dried cranberries as well as some pumpkin seeds. I'm gonna stir those in until they're well mixed. And then for my final step, I'm actually going to be stirring in some mini chocolate chips. Now, the reason I didn't do this sooner is because it's really important to make sure that your mixture is completely cool before you add your chocolate chips. Otherwise, they will not retain their shape. They'll just melt in and become a bit of a gooey mess, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but if you wanna keep your chocolate chips intact, make sure that your mixture is cool first. Now I am just going to transfer this entire mixture into a baking dish that I have lined with parchment paper. This is just going to make it way easier to remove once it's totally set. You do not want to put this into just a traditional baking dish without lining it first, because it is going to make your life very, very difficult. And that is the exact opposite of what we're trying to do here. Then we're just going to pack it down. You can do this with a spatula if you want to, or use your best kitchen tools, your hands, and get it really packed in there. That's important. 
Trust me, when you are done packing this down, you will be able to skip your workout for the day, which is just fine with me because I'll be here eating granola bars instead. Now that you've done all that hard work packing it down, we can go ahead and let the freezer do the remaining work. We want it to stay in there for between 20 and 30 minutes. Of course, you can then cut these into whatever shapes you like and then store them in the refrigerator in some parchment paper for up to a week. You can also freeze these if you wanna keep them fresher for a little bit longer. Try them for yourselves. If you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo, because I always love seeing your kitchen creations. Also, if you have ideas for exciting mix-ins that you could add to these, leave those in the comment section below, because I always love hearing from you guys. If you're looking for more granola inspiration and a whole lot more, definitely check out my brand new cookbook, which I am so excited to share. It's hardcover, it's loaded with more than 100 great recipes, and it will be available April 23rd, but you can pre-order it now using the links in the description box, so I hope you guys will. Finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.